In the Florida Keys, mosquito control is a serious business. These are prime breeding spots. These are the areas that we want to hit with larvicide. These tropical islands are home to dozens of different kinds of mosquito, but it's this one, Aedes aegypti, that's the biggest cause for concern. It carries the dengue fever virus, which led to a rash of outbreaks here, but that threat may soon be gone. British scientists have developed a genetically modified male mosquito implanted with a gene that kills their own offspring. Scientists claim it's a cheaper and far more effective way of controlling the insects. It's a reasonable method to, to control mosquitoes that is um, that poses very, very little harm to the environment. I would say none. And as far as, as human health is concerned, I've not seen anything that, that concerns me. The authorities here refer to their fight against dengue fever as urban warfare. And with a multi-billion dollar tourism industry here, there is much at stake. But there are those in the local community who say, despite the risks, tampering with Mother Nature may not be the solution. Joel Biddle is one of those who contracted dengue fever after being bitten by a mosquito. But he, along with others here, has a stern warning for the authorities to do it really properly, to make sure that every step of the way has been done with rigorous scientific overview and scientific uh, uh, research and the utmost care. But for dengue experts like Dr. Mark Whiteside, there are other considerations. He's not worried about the science, but he is concerned about the message this latest scheme might send. I would be against any technique that took away from personal responsibility, cleaning up your yard, you know, dumping the water out, so forth and so on, making you think it's someone else's, you know, job. No vaccination against dengue fever currently exists, and the disease is a global killer. If lab-altered mosquitoes are released here, it will be controversial, but also closely watched. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Key West, Florida.